Hello everybody, it's a new whole universe, hope that everything is fine, and I'm a Russian man who brings value to my own experience, and today we're gonna learn vocabulary about the Russian cameras, photography, and also videography, and about the stuff of television, let's dive into it with you, you will be smart in this topic, and I already drew something, because I was doing, <laughs> I was recording a video, and uh, then it was kind of interrupted uh, by my head, I started to think, oh no, this camera is not good enough, <laughs> I mean Drew and I decided to stop video and re-record it again. So let's dive into our to topic. First of all, it is the first what I drew, it is photoapparatus. It is photoapparat in Russian version, a camera we can call it, but it is for photos. Also we have a camera or in Russian it is camera. Also we have a display of a camera, if we will look from the behind to the photo apparatus to our camera, then we will see a display and in Russian it is ekran. Also you have ekran on your phone. Okay, let's go next. We will draw more. It will be the picture. For example, you made a picture and here is the... some of the... maybe... I don't know, like in a movie, yes? And here is the picture and it is in a movie, we call it frame, a frame, but in Russia we call it kadr. Okay, it is, I imagine that this kind of movie here, and you are shooting, yes, it, is, it will be 25 millimeters or something, I, I don't know how to say it correct, <laughs> fully. Okay, next, what we will draw, it is the cylinder, and you maybe already know what the cylinder here means. And it is cylinder for a camera. It is the lenses in English and in Russian it is objective. Objective. I think it is called this way because object, you can see objects through this. And objective, it means this way. Because object in Russian language, it is an object. So let's draw next. We see if we look inside of the apparatus, like inside here is the specific tool, we can find something working with your button here, tool inside, inside you will see it. And it is the name of it. I will open right now the Google Translate and I will say it. In Russian it is that war. But in English, I don't know what's the name of it, really. Let's find out it. That war. It is the shutter, I think so. That war camera. Camera shutter, yes. It is the shutter that it is starting when you smash the button. And it is that war. That war. It is the tool, and some cameras work with, like work well, they say, like companies say, that that war works only 150,000 times. It means that you can do this type, this, so many pictures you can do. If you will do more, then something could happen. It means that guarantee for it. And also, it is Knopka. Knopka. Also, we have the specific thing on camera. It is aperture. It could be this, it could be this, and it is выдержка. Okay. It is выдержка. And in your it is aperture, I think so. Let's find out again. выдержка. It is exposure, delay, coming Выдержка камеры. Камера exposure, really? Shutter speed. Shutter speed, I think so. Shutter speed, it will be better. Shutter speed, how how fast our затвор goes, like, fast or not. It is the second. It is the portion of a second. One fiftieth part of the second or one twentieth part part of the second and it means how many light will be on your display and inside also we have the matrix i don't know again what's the name of the this in a, 
on the camera. I imagine, I mean, in Russian, in, in, in English, sorry. It is a camera, yes. And we have the lenses here. And if we will put out the lenses, like going away, they will be went out. Then you will find here the matrix. It is Matrica camera. Matrica camera. It is the specific display. If I will open right now my camera and I will open the objective, then we will see it. Inside it is Matrica. And also we have diaphragma. It is F2.8 or F2.0. It is diaphragma. Actually, it shows how many. One moment, diaphragma. It shows how many focused objects will be on a screen. The more the number, the more objects will be in a camera. The less number, the the more light lighted will be an object, and the less objects will be focused. But it will be with a nice effect of bo bokeh. Bo Bokia, I don't know. Do you have it or not? Bokia. Bokia. Yes, I think that you have it. Bokia. One moment, I will write it. Bokia. It is. I will. I will try to draw it right now. It will be a picture of a person, and another picture here. I think that it should be this way. One moment need to make capacity less one a little bit more here and here's one more dude one more one more one more it is bakia it is how it is i imagine that it is blurred okay and in english it is bokeh and also we have razmitie almost the same Blurring. Okay, размытие. It is how how many focused. The less number of a diaphragm, the more the more sharpen will be one person on the first on on your screen, and uh, the less sharpest will be another objects. It is diaphragm shows how many is focused in some way and how many light goes to the camera also we have iso it is the light i s o and in russian we call, call it iso you can call it i s o in english but in russian we call it iso okay it is how we pronounce it i think that i showed you enough and uh, the most maybe important that you should know it is photograph <laughs> it is the person here is his camera and here is the person he does photos and photograph i think that one more word i i won't because i stop stop our lesson when it is no space on the screen I think that one more space we have. It is photograph. It is photographer, and also we have the. One moment, it will be here. I think two words will be. Here is the person, and here is his. Video camera, it it is showing here, also it is here, and he is doing something, with the camera. He is glad, and it is. Videoperator. Video operator. It is operator, cameraman, or something like this, videographer. Sometimes in Russia we call it videograph. Videograph it is a person who does editing plus camera shooting. And also we have one more thing that we should know. It is the photo. It is actually the here's the photo. In English it is photo, yes, and we write it this way.
I think you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section if you did. And I think that you like my drawings. And while doing this Russian language lessons, I improve my drawings, I improve my imagination how to draw them. And for you, I give you kind of learning of Russian language because sometimes not super big amount of this vocabulary on on sources of internet. But I think it, it is useful for you because you see pictures. Wow, interesting, good. And also you learn them through your experience. Maybe you learn new words for you in, in, in English and also you open them to yourself. And maybe you will be more interested in this vocabulary in English and you will be also a cameraman or videographer or someone else. And uh, I wish you success, my dear friends. And enjoy your life. Enjoy your day, improve so daily, and go forward. See you next time. Bye-bye.